Test drive time again, 1963 Chevy Nova, 327 lumen of Of course, this one does not have power steering or power brakes. It's got an aluminum radiator, really nicely cleaned up under the hood. Aftermarket set of American racing wheels, disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. Of course, we got detailed pictures, financing, and shipping at maplemotors.com. Go over to that website, check it out. You can also see all of our inventory that we update only on Mondays, every Monday. For now, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, let's check the interior out. Place those bats. Do you think the horn works? Show the mileage. It's all fours. Well, the first one's a five. But still, that's pretty cool. Aftermarket gauges. The interior is just awesome looking. Your headliner, a little wrinkly in the corner there, but majority of it looks good. Start it up. Make sure you shake your shifter. She starts up good. She's got great oil pressure. You can also see the engine temperature is on the way up. We've got a quarter tank of gas. We've got the wipers that work. We've got a radio. I don't know. Not very loud, but it works. Tilt column, chrome column at that. Turn signals, the left one is blinking and the right one is also blinking. All right, guys, place your bets on the horn. Do you think it works? If you said it worked, you was wrong, and I don't see a button or a switch anywhere. Horn's just not going to work. All right, guys, let's get out of here. See how she runs and drives. All right, we're getting ready to take off here. Anything I see, you will know about it. I do these test drives for you every day, so you're informed. All right, let's get out of here. brakes so right. this is the first time I've driven this ride here we go doesn't feel bad speedometers coming up on the dash this thing straight as an arrow going down the road pretty tight steering I mean there's a little bit of slack in it but They feel pretty good. Shifting down through the gears. Not too bad. The speedometer seems pretty correct on this one as well. Our engine temperature is sitting at 180. She's idling all by herself. They never hooked the battery gauge up on this one. Good thing is we don't have to stop and get gas today. It is the end of the day, so I'm going to avoid traffic as much as I possibly can. Outside shots, undercarriage shots, we're going to have a little fun here. Tell you what, I'll be back.
right, here we go, guys. Heading on back to the light. Okay, here we are. So far, so good on this one. It runs and drives good. Motor's staying nice and cool. We got good oil pressure. We're running 30 pounds oil pressure at 190 on the temp right now. It's exactly where you want to be. All right. Must be uh, some armor all on the seats. Got a little haze line there. And the detail guys already went over the windows. Typically, well, from my experience when I used to detail cars all the time, if somebody put armor all on the panels and the seats and the dash just for, like, say, a whole year, when it gets hot outside, that stuff evaporates into the windows like that. If you've ever noticed you clean your windows and three days later it's foggy again, typically it's the armor all that somebody had on there. So you can try to get all that off and clean it with a good vinyl cleaner but it's still gonna start fogging your windows up forever. You just gotta clean them all the time until it's gone. You gotta manually turn off your turn signals. I've been riding with one on the whole time. I'm sure the detail experts on here will tell me different ways to do it, but hey, I'm all ears. Go ahead and put it in the comments. I'll try whatever. I'll tell the guys at the detail bay to try whatever. As long as it doesn't ruin anything. You gotta be a little gentle with all this stuff. All right. Let's go, you're supposed to back out in your lane, man, not mine. <laughs> nice bump in the road here. Oh, a little stiff in the front end. Y'all probably heard that one, I can feel it. Front end's a little stiff when it comes to the speed bump. It's a very, very small speed bump, by the way just enough to rattle you guys i'm getting ready to pull back in the lot if you don't mind hit subscribe share this video i'm here to pick out the flaws i'm not here to hide anything from you i want you to get exactly what you expect when you pull up to maple motors thanks for watching picking out the flaws coming up next all right here we go we'll be picking out chip scratches rust dents whatever i can find Detail pictures, maplemotors.com. Front bumper on this thing is beautiful. Pretty good shape there. Just like a little chip here in the front. Your grill, it's not perfect. A little ding there. Dimple here. Bubbles on the bottom of the door here. A little rust trying to come through there. In this corner as well, cracks in the paint. Bubbles at the bottom. Some bubbles back here. A dent, crack in the paint. Chips behind the bumper. Back your midsection. Get a couple little spots in the door. Spot there on top. Chip there. Vent window's got some old seals. Hmm. 
a little flat through there in the paint. You see it kind of bubbling up. Back window, trim and seal look good. Wax, I got that off. Coming up to the back here. Jam's nice and clean, seal looks good. Looking down in your trunk, it's got some little scratches. But overall, it's pretty clean. Been around our trunk lid. A little rust popping up there on the edge, kind of chipping the paint. Chips in the back. that's the worst of it where it's chipping on the edge there see the clear coat kind of coming up on the back here chip on the edge chip over here All right, coming down this side of the car. Tires in good shape. Wheels look good. Little marks in the paint here. Bubbles on the bottom. Little bubbles there. Chips on the edge. dings there on your trim. That wax. That's wax. Come on. Let's ship there. Chips. Little scuffs here. Chip in the corner. back window is pretty clean on this one I don't what is that a little chip there light scratch really light dings in your trim we'll go ahead and go over the roof and then we'll hit that window in the top of the door We're already up here a couple dings in your trim little spots there the roof itself looks pretty good. A little dimple here. Front windshield. I think that's a tiny little chip there. Also over here. And there. And there. Really small stuff.
window sill needs to be replaced. But around the door looks good. Ain't bad. Door handle's pretty clean, little chips here on the edge. Top of your fender. I already showed that chip. A couple chips. Alright, made it around the ride. Let's go ahead and check out that inside. All right, opening up the interior here. The door has got a little bit of a darker tint to it in the middle. I don't know what's from the bottom of it. A little wrinkled up. People kicking the door panel, getting in and out. See some over here too. Little chips down here. A little bit of pitting on your chrome. Looking around on the interior, you can see the seat and the edge of the seat is ripped. Oops, sorry. Mm. Little rips on the back. Package tray's a little warped in the back here. See how it's pushed up. And in the corners here's a little wrinkly. Call that a mechanics headliner. There's a bunch of those. Because mm -hmm. uh, if you try to do it yourself, a lot of times it ends up wrinkly. I hear it. it's really hard. <laughs> Actually, I know it is. There wouldn't be so many wrinkly interior headliners if it wasn't complicated. <laughs> I've never attempted one, and honestly, with all the reviews that I've done, probably won't attempt one. Probably going to put out a video of some of the stuff that I do attempt, though. Uh, picked up another car here recently I want to mess with, so you'll see if I get the video done here soon. All right. Just take her out of gear, shake your shifter, hit the key. The steering wheel there is missing a little bit of color. Look under the hood. Edges look good. Insulation still there. Try to pick up these edges. They're solid. Come on down with the hood. A little bit of pitting on the front. A couple little dimples there too. bubble there in the middle guys we strive 
to show you everything about these cars. You can call us, ask any questions. If you see something you're concerned about in the video that you want to talk about, you can call us and talk to us. We will go through it. We'll go out there and look at it. Check it out with you again. We've been doing this for 40 years. We have people call us every day asking if we're real. <laughs> yes, we're real. They ask us if this video is a scam or whatnot. There's no reason for me to make these videos every day. I've done like 3,000 or more. Uh, and I do it so you know what you're getting. I want you to see the rust. I want you to see the chips, the scratches, the undercarriage, the interior. And if you do have concerns or want more information, just call us. We are a family-owned business. You know, we go through 50 to 60 cars a month. So missing a sale over telling you there's rust here or there is not a big deal to us. Somebody else will buy it. That is a guarantee. All right, guys. I do appreciate you watching. Go to maplemotors.com. Check out the detailed pictures. Get pre-approved with our financing. Check our shipping quotes and pick up some merchandise. They just sent me pictures of the new shirts. I'm excited to show y'all. Let me uh, let me show you real quick. I'll give you a sneak peek. Just in case you wanted to see what the new shirts look like. Woo! All right. I'll see you on the next video. Later.